Make a game without having to learn how to program. Make a game with no code. And then I look inside and it's visual scripting, which is still programming. Visual scripting is just a UI change. Like, for example, on Unreal's blueprints. You can right-click and you can type, and then it auto-completes to a whole bunch of nodes you can use. Easy, great. And then you can do that more. You can add nodes together. You can quickly see where they connect and click and drag and connect them. Lovely. With Visual Studio, you've been able to do that for ages as well. Like, it auto-completes. It even puts the brackets in automatically. You can quickly see what's going on. It's lovely. It's nice. It auto-completes to what you need. It's the same thing. Now, of course, then someone might say, like, well, in Blueprints, you can also easily see what connects where. And you can see all these lines, and they connect easily. You can see what goes where. And that's true. That is nice. That is very visual. And in Visual Studio, you can do the exact same thing. You can drag around a little mini-map and see what code is where. You can right-click on something, go to References, and see where it's used. These workflows are the same. The visualizing things is great, but that doesn't mean you've made things better right away. Often people ask, like, how do you make a good Visual Script Editor? And the answer is, make a good API, because nodes are functions. Let's grab a function, for example. Right? They have a function, and it takes in two variables, and it does something with a bunch of code, and it returns variable three. Great, lovely. So what does this look like as a node? It's this. It's exactly the same. Now, the do something might be hidden behind it. You might have to like double click on it, and then you get to the code. But it's the same thing. This is the same as this. It's the same. And Frey Holmer made this image about this that's really, really cool as well, where like in math, you have a couple of symbols that do special things, like for example, summation. And actually what that is, is just this code. And you have another one that is product, and really what it is is just this code. So the visualization is just that code, like you've changed the UI, that's all. You've changed the tool and what the tool looks like, but the workflow is the same. Like, uh, for example, which of the 2,000 functions do you need to put in the right order to rotate a door? Like, uh, if you need to find a func name, another func name, another func name, and another func name. You need to put them in the right order, and then you rotate a door. Great. Now, which of the 2,000 nodes do you need to put in the right order to rotate a door? Well, you got to find the right node, and the right node, and the right node, and the right node. It's the same problem. You still have to read the docs. You still have to know what to do. You can still break stuff. You can still break the whole project. So in most cases, visual scripting, you've made a faster way to copy and paste. Like, for example, Blockly is the best example of this. Like, you have a bunch of visualization and a bunch of code. And if you move the visualization around, you can see that the code just, like, copy and pastes over. It's neat. It's cool. Like, they made this, and, it, you know, it visualizes things in a nice way. But it doesn't change the workflow. You still have to know how this all works. It's just really fast copy and pasting. Now, at this point, usually people say, like, oh, visual scripting is simpler. No, that's just an ABI change. That's not a visual scripting change. Like, let's say, for example, we want two objects to face each other. So we have a math function, and then we have a vector function, and then we have some kind of rotate function. Or you just make a look at function, and you put the two objects in there, and they look at each other. Like, you make that function. It's about the API. Like, tools are not workflows. If someone works in Blueprints and not C++, that does not mean they are bad or unskilled. It's just a different UI. It all depends on the functionality of the API. Because I would bet you that assembly programmers from the 1960s would call out a C++ programmer using Visual Studio Writer nowadays as being an artist instead of an engineer. It's all relative. It all just depends on like what you're used to and what is being built nowadays. Like, How do you make a good Visual Script Editor? You make a good API. Also, you can literally just do text and nodes at the same time. Like, for example, Haystack Editor has this. Like, you can put nodes in, and those nodes have text in them, and you can still have these lines connecting them. Like, you can just do both. So if you want to make a good visual scripting editor, find out what functions folks will often use, and make sure your API has those functions easily accessible and usable. And please, 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 stop saying visual scripting is no code. Thank you very much.